before I, I hit that. If you do that, I wouldn't mind like stepping next to you and training with you and getting in myself in a little more shape. I went into spar last week, dude. Well, you, you okay? So You're I look like beastified right now. Yeah, man. but I look like I'm in shape. But I'm I'm just big from lifting. I, yeah. I've just been lifting like crazy. But I went and sparred, and I sparred uh, Eric's son Christopher. <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, he's a kid. He's a teenage kid, you know. But he's he's so tall and long now that I had to do actual like footwork and <laughs> get inside and do it. And the kid right. just tooled me up, man. Like I, I had no cardio. I had yeah. zero cardio. So obviously, I mean, I need to get into fight shape. You know what's but. funny is like with me, um, you know, stand up is a little bit different. But if I get on the ground, I mean, it's been this way my entire um, fight career, um, even through the amateurs and everything. I can I can uh, roll for yeah for hours yeah, and I I just can and I don't lose strength. I don't get tired because I think that's one of the things you also learn is how to control absolutely your body and your strength mm-hmm. and, and your, your breath. How to relax in there. Yeah. So a lot of these guys go in and they, you know, just cause they're big, you know, uh, we, we, we have a mutual friend, um, uh, Larson <laughs> that is a monster. Yeah. And, um, you know, when I was um, rolling with him, like he tired out like, like that. Yeah. You know? tense and, and everything's got to be a power move. And yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what he was doing. I mean, he was physically stronger than me. I mean, the guy is, I mean, he's just a huge guy. Yeah. Um, so, like, trying to hold him down for a certain amount of time was very tricky. But then throwing a quick submission on him. <laughs> like, Making him work to get out of anything or keeping him down, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, and then, you know, doing a can opener on him. That was my favorite thing. Um, you know, most people can't tap people out like that. But a I, big I guy? all the time. Man. Dude, sometimes I'm sitting up straight and I'll just, my chin will just fall to my chest. And, you're and I'm about out on my <laughs> Jessica That's constantly crazy. is grabbing my head and pushing me down. She's like, whenever she gets upset, she just does that to me. But well, you put- have you have more of a neck than I do, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so. You, and you know what it's like. Yeah. Man. Like whenever that chin touches, it's over, man. I'm about out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. No, no blood and no air is getting in there. So, all right, real quickly, if we can, let me try to call her back and see if she'll answer. If not, then we're going to wrap this up. Yeah, we're an hour and a half in. That's a good show. It, it's a good show. If you guys uh, want to try to help out with the uh, with the hurricane relief down there uh, in, in Puerto Rico, again, she give me two numbers. That's weird. Again, go to Angela Magana M A G A N A on Facebook, and apparently there is links on her Facebook page, her fan page, uh, to help out. Even if you don't like her, um, whatever the case may be, or you, you do like her or whatever, then get on there and help her out. Hey, Angela. Hey. hey. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I'm driving now. I have to get back to where I'm going. But um, that was weird. I was just sitting there. I told you that it's very, very weird to talk to everything right now. Uh, no worries. It, we, we completely understand. We're actually getting ready to wrap up because we've been doing this for um, quite a while before we were able to talk to you. But we want to just kind of wrap it up with you. And I just personally want to say, and I want to be able to stay in touch with you um, so we can do some stuff in the future. Um, however, um, I, I want people to understand that you're kind of not a bitch. Um, <laughs> no, uh, no, I don't want them to know. <laughs> so, I mean, you've you've been very kind with us and and um, kind to your people um, in your community, and that goes further than any bullshit that you see on social media. Um, so it would be cool um, if I don't know if. Uh, you're in constant contact with Beck Rollins and a couple of other people, but anybody you could send our way so we can bother them too. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I'll ask Beck if she wants to next time. I haven't, um, my phone actually broke, but I can try to get a hold of Richard Facebook. Um, okay. using a different phone, you know, uh, mine broke and the AT&T isn't working. Here. It's only a local phone thing. So I'm not, it's not even my phone. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Well, we wanted to thank you for being on the show, and uh, best of luck to you in your upcoming event, and we're definitely going to be rooting for you. And keep doing what you're doing down there, man. There's a lot of us that see it. you know. I know there's a lot of guys out there that are talking shit and all that stuff, but there's a lot of us out here who are, who are quiet on the sidelines and just seeing what you're doing, and we appreciate uh, you, know, you know the good that you're putting out there. So best of luck to you. Well, yeah, and thank you for letting me use your platform. I'm trying to use, you know, uh... I just want to get the word out that this is like, this is not what people think. This is way worse. Like they're seeing this in the game, but 
like all this food they're sending is cookies to people. It's not really. Yeah, we have, they get free grease boxes and their cookies. So I just want people to know it's, it's, it's getting worse. Well, it's real life, and these are real people, and you know all all these fuckers on Facebook and everybody else, you know, talking shit and calling you names and saying you're you know you're bragging and shit the like peasants, that. The peasants, the peasants, and you know. But I like to leave those idiots there. I, and I even notice I don't ever I don't really raise my haters. Uh, for a while, I was banning some people there because I just didn't have time to deal with the hate comments. It was really it was like very desperate in the beginning of when this all happened. Um, mm-hmm. So. I just like to leave them there so everybody can see the idiots they are. Yeah. No, I don't blame you. And we do. And we do. So. So. Well, I've been on there a couple <laughs> times talking shit about your haters. Yeah, me too. Um, so it, 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 it's fun. But anyway, yeah, um, yeah, thank you so much. Can you tell us all one more time um, the different outlets we can donate money to and other ways we can help so um, you guys can start getting this stuff cleaned up? Yeah, just go uh, fund me, help Puerto Rico. You just Google that. You can find it. Um, uh, you can go through amfitforlife.com. Oh, no, sorry. Fitforlifeam.com. That's the number four. I'll just go to either my Angela Magania fan page, Angela Magania one Twitter, and you'll be able to find all the resources. You can find a bank number if you wanted to just deposit directly. Um, whatever people feel the most comfortable with. Or you can send supplies. I have addresses up there putting supplies. The only problem is I think FedEx is the only way to get in here or to fly out yourself and help would be the best. But uh, I know that's a lot to ask for. Um, so whatever whatever help people can do, just even sharing the GoFundMe page that I, I publish on my on my media would, would help. Well, thank you, Angela. Right. Best of luck to you, hon. Stay safe. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, man. All Have right. a good day. You too. I'll talk later. Bye. All right. All right, real quick, uh, I just want to give a shout out to everybody who uh, w- was a hero or who is suffering from a loss out in Las Vegas, Texas, Florida, Puerto Rico, Virgin uh, Islands, Virgin so Islands. on and so forth. Uh, yeah. it, you know, it, you know, we as a people need to come together and quit listening to this media and uh, letting the news dictate how we treat each other and 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 all of that shit. You know, we're human beings and. <clears throat> you know what's right. You know what's wrong. If you feel it in your heart and you're a little doubtful about it, and then you know it's probably wrong. Don't do it. Um, we here at Double Barrel Doo Doo, uh, if we have something bad to say, we'll say it to your face. And uh, you know, other than that, and we'll smile. Yeah. Other than that, then uh, you know we're pretty good guys, and and we know most of you out there are as well. So um, much love to all of you. I want to also. Uh, do you have any sponsors you want to thank real quick? Um, let's go out CrossFit DNR. Um, you can go to CrossFitDNR.com. You know, if you've listened to the show before, you know I praise them because they're my brothers and um, they're an excellent, excellent uh, gym. It's not just a CrossFit gym; it's a, a full scale gym. And um, we are getting calls from someone I don't know. <laughs> and oh, uh, shit. also, <laughs> hold on, I'm not done. There we go. Okay, that's off. Sorry about that, CrossFitDNR.com. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, they've recently put their giant cool sign out on the front because you had to go through a bunch of um, red tape for um, any advertising um, in Fort Collins. Oh wow! Um, it's it's they have all kinds of regulations things. Yeah, yeah. but they they got their big lighted sign up. Um, they're also doing personal training now, um, not just for CrossFit but for um, your general fitness um, needs. Nice. And, um, you know, if you're at CSU or if you're in Greeley or whatever your case might be, they are in Fort Collins on College Street. And make sure you look them up. It's CrossFit DNR. Two businesses that I love that I think you're going to love. Uh, Mother Puckers. Check them out on Facebook. It's delicious. It's delicious. lemon-based lemon based goodies like lemonades and lemon cupcakes and lemon bars. Mother Puckers with a P. Okay? Check That's that out. That's a hell of a name. And isn't it? It's an, it's an amazing name. And uh, also, are you tattooed? I yeah. uh, have recently gotten my my, some work done by Baby Tim, and the guy is unbelievable. If you guys are looking to get a tattoo and you have some patience, you're going to have to book out for a little while because <laughs> these Just guys are slammed. All of them are. Uh, yeah. Well, they're, they're, they don't have one shitty artist in the whole place. No. Like they're, This is award-winning shit that they're putting on people's bodies. And uh, if you need one in Colorado Springs, are you tattooed? Go to them. They are badass. Well, I'll add to that because do they, it. They, and I know we're about to roll out of here, but 
Uh, Ari Tattooed sponsored me, and they're still kind of a sponsor. They're more family than anything. That's how they treat um, everybody. But I've known them since, man, mid uh, fight career. I have Ari Tattooed tattooed on my leg. He does. I'm a witness. And uh, you know, it, it, it's not a business thing. It's a family thing because these guys just they love the hell out of you, and I love the hell out of them. And Baby Tim, Chicago. You got Daniel, who, I mean, all of them, phenomenal artists. Amazing. Um, like, j- just look them up, aretattooed.com. Um, you know, they'll, they'll take care of you. It takes a while now to get in, and probably one of the only shops now that is so booked out. Um, so if you want them, you got to get a hold of them. And, and trust early, me, so. it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Yeah. So, um, where are you working now? <sighs> me, Pikes Peak Automotive Group, checking them out over there. Oh, off a of plat. Yes. Okay. Yep. Right. So we'll, still doing the car sales, man. We'll we'll work on that on the yeah yeah yeah. Also sponsors. If you do want to sponsor us, get a hold of us. Uh, Double Barrel DD um, on Facebook or Double Barrel Doo dot com. Um, you can. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on Snapchat. ITunes. We're on iTunes. We are um, in almost every avenue you could possibly think of. So get a hold of us. And let us know if you have any um, wants or needs because, you know, we're back and we're rolling. And today we had Angela Magana. That's a huge name in the UFC world. And it's a huge name right now on the activist side in Puerto Rico, um, helping her people. So um, thank you um, for joining us today. And we will talk to you guys next week. Be good to one another, man. All right. It's, uh, Much you love. Know, gorilla. Dropkick Mike. Out.